Hello everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to create an AI girl for OnlyFans. Yes, you heard me right. Now, lately since the crypto has been uh, kind of boring, I saw also a lot of videos that people are making money with the AI girls and it sounds interesting. So. I started to study about this and just about starting to work on it I thought I have not made a video in a few weeks so why not film it so you guys can do it as well <clears throat> now this to, to do this I'm going to use only AI and act as I have zero knowledge and zero coding skills so we will be getting everything from the chat GPT so you can easily do this without knowing how to code so the first question for chat GPT is how to create an AI girl for OnlyFans and I got an answer the concept and identity is first we need to find a name uh, style and niche and then her appearance now to generate photos and videos uh, ChatGPT recommended me a lot of uh, uh, apps but I like to use uh, this software called Stable Diffusion now I only I don't know I just like it since it's the first one and from the answers uh, after this but you can choose to use anyone and I think this will be easier to use stable diffusion then for the voice and personality we have uh, 11 labs and others but we will find out about these later then monetize and other stuff we skip this for now and I just said let's start so uh, it asked me to provide uh, a style I said it's gonna be Betty uh, Latina and interactive so it gave me uh, the name uh, ethnicity age etc then we have to use uh, chat GPT or character AI for the DMs and other stuff and here we have some prompts to generate images but we're going to skip these as well for now I just generated one image to test it and it looks cool right and so uh, where to download I asked where to download stable diffusion it gave me the answer and then I said will this help me generate uh, content while keeping the character every time so we want to generate multiple videos uh, images and other stuff you know spicy stuff but we want to keep the same face and body right so it told me that we can use uh, uh, Laura we can use uh, automatic uh, 1111 and etc then here I asked give me the setup step by step I know nothing and only have Visual Studio installed okay so this is what we want we want to be told every single thing even the details uh, what to do okay so the first step it says uh, uh, download uh, stable diffusion on windows which i have already downloaded i will try again uh, install python uh, then install git 
Okay, so Python installed, git install, the next is install uh, automatic 1111. So this is the UI. Now let's go to prompt. I have a new setup, so this is a new computer and had a little bit of uh, issues with the uh, Python, but now fixed. Okay, so we had issues with the Python version. So we need to have exactly this version. It, it doesn't work with uh, newer versions. So now we correct it and hopefully now it will work. As said here. You can see here is downgrade to Python 3.10. It doesn't work with 3.13.5. Okay, done. So now we go to the folder and then we run the web UI. Fingers crossed, hopefully it works. Okay, working. So again, it showed me a lot of errors when I deleted, when I used, installed and used the newest version of Python. Remember, it doesn't work with the newest version of Python. It works with the version 3.1. I will list this link on the description so you can go and get it here. Okay, so let's see where we are. It says after you run the UI, you go to this uh, IP. Estimated time, three minutes, about three minutes. So let's wait. Okay, guys, so it finished installing and automatically opened the UI and uh, it's messy. So now we're going to try and get something out of this. Let's go back to chat GPT. Now, by default, it uses base model for better results with your AI girl. Uh, use this, download a realistic model. Okay, let's go to this site. Okay. Search for realistic vision. Okay. Okay, so the Civite was offline, just got online right now. And we're going to continue. Okay, so search this and let's get this model okay we have to download some file okay let's see what we had to download okay so look to, to the file section look for the file that answers okay where is the files? Okay, so where do we find the file? Okay, so probably this, this is it. Yeah, save tensors. 
Okay, so now we have to move this at the stable diffusion. Okay. Let's go get it. Copy. Okay. Let's go to C. Users. User. Okay. Models. Stable diffusion. Okay. Done. After that, we had to place, okay, prepare for Laura, for same girl every time. Okay, for now, generate a few sample images of your girl. Save uh, 10, 20 images with her face body pose variety okay make file try some okay let's just ask it done says in the top left corner click the drop down and choose the set tensors you download okay so top left drop down where are we okay top left drop down okay Paste it, paste the negative, generate. Estimated time, two minutes. What the hell is this, man? Okay guys, so I finally made it work. It was just the model issue. So I just downloaded a new random model from Civit AI and uh, now looks like it's working. Now let's try again uh, to get uh, a new image with the chat GPT prompt. Okay, let's see. Two minutes estimated time. Uh, now, keep in mind that I'm using uh, CPU rendering but if you use GPU, it's gonna be a lot faster. Now let's see the result and then we can get to the next step. I'm sure we have a lot of tools here as well to get better quality and uh, uh, other stuffs like refiner, fixes and other stuff, you know. Also, especially we want to try LoRa so we can train our uh, model and get the uh, same person every time, you know. Okay, so it's almost perfect. I think we need to work more with the prompts okay for now it's good now let's go to uh, 
ChatGPT and tell him we made it work. So what's next? Okay, so it says uh, the option is to use Laura or use always same prompt. Uh, we want to use Laura, so we generate same um, model, but in different uh, poses, outfits, and other. So, okay, use Laura. Okay, so step by step, how to use Laura is uh, put our model into Laura folder and uh, launch again. Okay, so we're going to do that. Uh, so uh, we have to do that in a part two. It's late here, guys and uh, we continue in the part two of the video we'll leave the link in the description and uh, see you there